Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. And this is Eris House. And we are home, and we're going to reunite the little lady with her mother. Nice. And we get introduced. Followed again. This almost sounds creepier than, you know, an attempted kidnapping. I don't know, stalkers creep me out. Well, at least she seems like a caring person. Yeah, I had some creepy guy follow me to prevent other creepy guys from following me. Yay! She's gonna go to Tifa's bar. No! Anyway, I think I didn't mention who the points were affecting last time. Most obviously it's going to be with Eris. Um, so if you say that's right, you lose points with her, no way, you gain points. I don't want to date her, so I am going to, uh, lose points with her. It's kind of strange, the, uh, the first few times I played this game, I always wanted to be nice to her because it's an RPG, you always want to be nice to characters, and I kept always ending up with her at the date sequence. and. She starts with a uh, more base points than anyone else. She's, um, I don't know, for whatever reason, the game wants you to date her more than anyone else. And Cloud is a sexist pig. Okay. Ah! Well, where's my option here? So yeah, anyway, I, I was just always nice to her every time and always ended up with uh, ended up with her in the dating sequence and eventually I decided, you know what, I'm going to make a whole playthrough just to pretty much see how to get some of the other ones. And so I'm using the guide I've been using lately, uh, I think I posted it in the last video's description. Uh, so, oh, so we're going to spend the night first. Oh, that's nice. Aries gets to make the bed. Gotta love it. But yeah, so it, it took me a while to get a chance to actually date anyone else. And since then, uh, I think I've dated three of the four characters. And I think the one I'm trying to date this time I've dated before. But I think it's just the most interesting of all the date sequences. And there's videos of all of them online somewhere or another. Oh, so even she recognizes the sign of soldier. Oh, well, you're trying to protect your kid. That makes sense. Okay, can I move now? Okay, so I can move now. We gotta go upstairs to the bedroom. With Eris in it. Alright! It's a little dangerous. It's a little dangerous, it's also a little creepy, and a lot messed up. It's basically like a Walmart. Anyway, at this point, we get thrown into our bed, or at least our bedroom, and Cloud talks to himself again. Well, as a mercenary, you wouldn't expect he would sleep anywhere other than, you know, wherever he possibly could. Maybe he steals money or charges extra so he can stay in an inn if it's possible. I know I would. I don't mind camping, sleeping out uh, in a tent or whatever, it just, I don't know, I'd much rather sleep on a normal bed. Um, well, that depends. He's in the military, and I think at this time, I don't remember ever seeing a female in the military in this game, so it seems kind of like he wouldn't have the opportunity. Settled down and had a nice girlfriend. And Cloud's being stubborn. An older girlfriend. Now this is kind of interesting because I think technically Eris is 22 and Tifa is either 20 or 21 and Cloud is 21. So I guess that thing is supposed to suggest that you should end up with Eris. But, like I said, with the date sequence, I'll be doing it differently. 
At this point, you want to go hug the far wall and walk, not run. Because if you run, she'll hear your footsteps and she'll toss you back into bed, which is no fun. Now you can run. Anyway, apparently Elmira, uh, which is Eris' mom, is has fallen asleep, so... I'll loot the, uh... I don't think there's any treasure here, but... I'll go to the shops momentarily. First, I want to go here and... Oh, look at that. She figured it out. <laughs> yeah, there's no point in going buying equipment for her. Or, uh... Materia, if, uh... I don't need to. And, uh... You wouldn't understand if I decide... Oh, I'm gonna buy it for a character we don't have yet. Well, I could have done that, I guess. But then it would have spoiled the fact that we get another character. So we need to go through the Sector 7 slums. And she runs away from us. And we're forced to run in there. Though, so for some reason, I can hit my menu. Anyway, let's head back to... Uh, I think this is Sector 5, isn't it? Yeah, not Sector... Oops. The circle button is the action button in this game, which is different from almost any other RPG on this console, so... It takes me a while to get used to it sometime. sometimes. Alright. Now that we have the option and a little more money, I'm going to buy one more Restore. And... Hmm... That should be alright for now. And I'm going to get... Yeah, I'll get one Fire Materia. Why not? Ice is not all that useful in this game for whatever reason. There's a couple of enemies in Midgear, all of Midgear, that uh, are really weak to it. You don't really need it, so... Anyway, I don't need any of those. I got my tent back, so I have one. That's all I'll need for immediate future. It's cheaper to just go to an inn, and we're so close to inns right now that it doesn't really matter. Oh, so Shinra's a liar, and you can't trust Avalanche. So, believe in yourself, huh? I guess that works. Anyway, if we go up here and you examine this little thing on the wall that I'm not actually facing, the piece of paper that's taped there, you can find Turtles Paradise News letter number one. And basically there are six of these in the game, and if you read them all, you get a prize later. Anyway, if you talk to this kid, the top one and the bottom one, what are you talking about? Well, this is what he's talking about. We open the hidden drawer, go figure, there's five gale. If you do not take it, you will get a better item later. And five gale is nothing, so whatever. It's not like it's a big loss at this point. Alright, and last shop is up here. I don't think there's anything uh, that we need to buy here, is there? No, we, we don't want to buy these Titan Bangles. We can buy a better one in the upcoming area, and it's not very far away at all. Alright, let's uh, adjust our materia relatively quickly. Let's throw a Restore on there, and give her the Fire Materia so that she's got some more spells. And that should be good. I'm not going to use the Cover Materia right now, mainly because it's... Ba biggest use, other than tanking, which is completely unnecessary in this game, is to build up limit breaks. And since I can't do a lot of that right now, because I don't need to build it up with Cloud, who's the main character, and he'll be in the party pretty much the entire game. But I do want to build up Eris, Eris, um, uh, her limit, but she doesn't have enough HP to make cover all that use, which she'll end up dying, so... And I don't want that to happen. And we fight a house. And he uses a Hell Bomber attack. Yeah, we can go for some attacks after that. Yeah, see, Ice, not particularly all that useful. And he uses the Suicide Drop attack and then completely morphs himself into some weird looking thing. And he'll use a Hell Press. This is a good guy to fight if you want to work on limit breaks. Oh, crap. Let's use another spell. This guy's dealing a lot of damage to me. Okay, I'm gonna use Cure. Okay, I didn't need to use Cure because we have her limit, Healing Wind. Are we full hype? Yes, we are. Okay, Bolt. And that'll probably end up finishing the guy. 
Yeah, the house has got quite a bit of HP. Just hit it with spells. Uh, thought it had a lot less HP than it does, but oh well. Anyway, if we continue up this way, there's actually one more enemy I want to run into before, so I'll find him here. Doo -doo -doo. Come on, where are you? There they are. Let's use a limit and take out one right off the bat. And then let's use fire to take out another one. These are some scorpion-like guys. I don't know what they're called. What are they called? Hole Eater. Okay. They're scorpion-like thingies. Not much to worry about. I'm going to show off Eris Limit now. Healing Wind. It's like a healing spell. And how the... Uh, the order of turns is, even if you select something else first, a limit will almost always override everything. I think the only thing it doesn't override is counters, if I'm not mistaken. Oops, should have targeted the other one. Oh well. These guys are also good for working on limits, and I'll probably pop out here um, after I get to the next town. See, I've got a limit there. Oh, never mind. See how fast my time gauge moved up? I was mentioning that before as well. They do want you to get your limit breaks off relatively quickly once you get them. So, anyway, that's all the enemies in that area. And I'll run out there again and work on my limits briefly, just so I can get the uh, level 2 versions, which, in order to get them, uh, I can go over that. I'll... I'll go get them and then I'll tell you how I got them and show them off and all that. So, Okay, and here's another one. If you select this one, you gain a small amount of points. If you choose this one, there's no change, so I'm going to check that one. Doesn't mean that anything's going to happen, so whatever. Anyway, Eris wants to, I guess, sit around here and basically we end up going up there. I'm just waiting for her to stop. Apparently, uh, she's been here before. And we get uh, the theme song that is often confused for Era's theme. This is actually called Flowers Blooming in the Church. And this is the version that uh, it plays at her house there. And, of course, in the church, I think. Rank. Oh, yeah, and soldier. I was. What was that flash for? Hmm. Yeah, he was first class. Same as who? Not a good thing to talk about. But then again, I guess Cloud hasn't really shown any interest in you, so there's no reason to suggest that you were going to go anywhere anyway. Oh, well. Hmm. What was his name? Why won't you tell me his name? Hmm, I wonder if that'll come up later, too. And there's a chocobo-drawn carriage with... Huh? Back there. Tifa? Why is Tifa not wearing her standard clothes? This is... An animated show out of Japan. Or show, game, whatever. Every time you see that, whether it's anime or video games, nobody ever changes clothes. She looked kind of odd. Well, just to let you know, she was in a dress. Which, of course, with the bad sprites is hard to tell, but... Then again, we were able to figure it out when uh, we were playing Final Fantasy VI, so... I guess it's not too much of a stretch. If we head up here, we enter the new town. And real swinging music. This is Wall Market. Yes, this is a play on words. It's basically a Walmart. But it's designed in a way that's kind of like a bazaar. Scary. You were getting mad at Cloud for being sexist earlier, and now you're saying, well, I guess it's not really being sexist in her case. It would be dangerous in this city. It's basically like a gang run thing. Whoa! Broken. Yeah, that's the weapon shop. We can't really do our item shop, whatever. We can't get anything there for now. 
Oh, let's see here. What can I do? What can I do? If we go in here, there's a, a restaurant that we can check out later. Um, there's a bunch of the places we can do stuff with. This is the materia shop, which we cannot buy anything from because he's closed and sleeping on the counter. Useful. If we head all the way up here, that's the gym on the right there. And there's a bar to the left and a weapon shop to the right. If we go all the way to the end, hmm, oh, okay. So, he's interested in women. I wonder if, what that means. Go all the way back down. We'll find, eventually, and this is kind of hard to see unless you have the little doohickey on. We can head over here. And over here, we can... Come on, hurry up. I want to talk to that person. Thank you. This is a strip club, basically. Huh. Tiff is stripping now. Okay. An interview. Huh. Taken to Don Corneo's mansion, the one up at the top there. Oh, so he's going to look for a bride. And apparently that's where... Yes, I already did that. Thank you. And what's this guy saying? <laughs> Aren't you? Yeah, it's Johnny from earlier. I don't think this does anything, so... After a lot of deep thought... Hmm... Guy kind of scares you, huh? What, this one? This guy's not happy. Apparently he's looking for a fight. Anyway, once you go over there and figure out that, uh that Tifa is going all the way up here. We can head back up here. You don't have to come up here to talk to uh, the guy to start with. I just wanted to kind of give an idea of why we were over there looking for Tifa. What's that? Oh, well, no, we can't send her in all alone. Let's just bust in and go rescue Tifa. I don't know why this is such a complicated, required meeting kind of situation. Well, yeah. Pretty hard. It'll cause too much commotion. What else do we do? This is an RPG. We go and beat the crap out of people. It's not difficult. And he's stuck in a dilemma, and Eris is freaking out over there and bobbing her head to the music or something. And apparently she's laughing. And the game goes straight and falls apart right now. Why is our main character dressing in drag? Really? This is your idea game. Well, um, I don't know what to say to that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. What are you doing, Eric? No, this is not happening. Yes, we have now stalled the game for about half an hour while I go from place to place trying to find clothes to dress up as a girl so I can break in to this mansion. That's the plan. And this is the dress. Um, clothing shop, and this is where we need to be. Eh, shut up. This is one of the strangest sequences I've ever seen. Oh, the owner's been in a slump, so he can't make any dresses. Plastered at the bar. Where else would you be? Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we need the, to get the dress, at least for Eris. Hopefully Cloud can avoid uh, getting one for himself. Okay. Oh boy, 
Eris is really pushing me around now. Anyway, that's all the time I have for this episode, and next time we will go through the painstaking process of a bunch of little mini-games, side quests, fetch quests, and eventually we will get some clothes and we can dress and drag. Go figure. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.